All right, welcome to the next video in the Google AdWords tutorial. In this one, we're going to dive into the campaign settings. So we're going to start turning the dials and what we need to do to get your AdWords campaign rocking. Before we get into that, make sure you click the link below to download your free AdWords campaign launch kit. That way you can get a complete checklists and templates to help you avoid making costly mistake inside AdWords. I'm Ryan Masters, a certified Google partner from Squeeze Juice Marketing. And in this series, we are working with a client here state-of-the-art dance studio and in the last video we talked about the landing pages and their importance and we're targeting this landing page so it's country dancing country dance lessons so when we create the campaign you, know, you go into into adwords create and we want to do search network only okay so that's what we're starting with search network only and we want to select the option all features because we want to choose um, the features that we're using inside the campaign. So the first step is name the campaign based on choose a category or a theme that makes sense. I'll just call it campaign one. Usually it's a good idea just call it based off the, the category of the page that you are looking at. So country dancing lessons and we go ahead and scroll down and what we can do is we'll leave this check search partners that's just showing different properties uh, where Google will run the ad, that's okay. So the next big thing is where do we want the ads to show, okay? And this is where it comes down to, again, right message to the right person at the right time. Who are you looking to get in front of? If you're an e-commerce company and you ship all across the country, the United States, well, then obviously you want to show in the States. But if you're a local service-based business, uh, you may just want to be showing in a particular area. And you can type in your zip code and you can you can target just that zip code okay um so they are in this they're in lakewood colorado so we can add that if i wanted to target just lakewood if i want to do nearby i can click on this and let's say okay we want to get everyone nearby what we can do is radius targeting here this is what i found to be the easiest type in the city and so there's 20 miles, so that's too big. So we'll probably do about 10 miles. Because this is a dance studio, so it's like how far we're thinking about our customers, you know, how far are they willing to drive to to come to the service? So we'll say, okay, you know what, maybe 15 miles. Let's see here. Yeah, so 15 miles. So that looks good. So we'll hit done. And what we do is open this up. Now here's an option that we need to pay attention to, which is relevant to the location it's first one is people in searching for or viewing pages about my targeted location okay so this this means you're targeting people who either in this case live in Colorado in this area that I specified or they're they could live in Virginia but they're searching for Lakewood dance lessons um, and in this case we just want to stick with people I mean I don't know maybe some people fly out of town to come in and take dance lessons but not really not not for this client anyway so what we want to do is stick to people in my targeted location so that's something that's going to vary depending on you know this is where you need to know who you're going after but if you um, if, if you're only local and service and you may want to stick with people targeted in so we hit that um, shopping channels you can ignore that uh, because this well, at least for this option and then bid strategy. So start, make sure we will manually set the bids. I always just start at 50. We'll change that later in, in a later video. And then the budget. Okay, the, the nice thing about AdWords is you control the budget and the spending. And this is how much you want to spend per day. So if we do $10 per day, and if we hit that budget, you know, for average 30 days a month, it's $300 a month. Now, when they say actual spend may vary, um, it could be like, you know, seven dollars one day twelve dollars the next day but overall in the month they'll stay within that three hundred dollar cap um, so it's always good you know with budget obviously you you start small especially if you're in the beginning start smaller dip your toe in the water make sure everything's working and you can always open and scale up the budget later as you get positive feedback then uh, delivery method now this is just talking about how fast we want the ads to show if let's say let's say you have standard selected which is what we start with um, and your your budget ten dollars a day but we'll just say there's twenty dollars worth of impressions or searches that show up well with standard what will happen is throughout the day Google will sometimes show the ad sometimes not so that you last that ten dollars lasts all day uh, whereas if you do accelerate Google will just show your ad right away 
until you run out of budget. So if it may, in this instance, it may run till halfway through the day and then it shuts off because you spent the $10 and there's actually 20 available. But when we're starting off, just do standard. And then add extensions. Um, we can do site links and location if those are relevant. We don't, we'll get into these later, so ignore them for now. The scheduling, you know, a lot of people want to get fancy with the scheduling, but here's the thing. You don't know, it's funny how people search differently um, at different times. You think, okay, well, we're open from 9 to 5, so that's when we want the search times running, but that may not be when people are actually searching. So you're better off starting off the campaign, don't have any time settings, um, and use the data that comes in later to, to optimize uh, and by then and we'll go over that but what we want to do is go into add delivery and change this option to rotate indefinitely and this is super super important for testing ad copy if you don't have this selected then you're not going to be able to test your ads and that's you're never going to win in AdWords so this is one of the big um, super secrets that you need to use in AdWords if you want to get good and beat out your competitors then we have keyword matching options I said do not include close variants this is when we get into the keywords, you'll learn more about this, but for the campaign setting, just go ahead and put that on there. Then these last two, you can go ahead and ignore them. They're not really relevant, again, for setting up the first campaign. So you can see there's like tons of options in here, and I just want you to keep in mind the goal through this series is to get us set up with a first campaign focusing on what really matters. So yeah, we could sit here and talk about you know different exciting extensions and what time and all this, but then that starts to detract from the most important thing, which is action and getting this campaign set up. So go ahead and set up your campaign using the features selected here, modify them for your business, and then we'll get into the next video.